today in Douglas County. The school district is trying to clarify its mask guidance. This following the county's new public health order. Nine News reporter Jordan Chavez has been following the latest developments and Jordan. It has been kind of confusing, very confusing, especially because the requirements didn't really change, but those exemptions certainly did. This was causing so much confusion, as you mentioned, among parents in the district about whether their kids would actually have to wear those masks to school today. And the short and clarified answer for them from both Douglas County as well as the school district is yes, unless they have a legitimate medical exemption or even now a legitimate mental health exemption. Now that is one of the latest updates of the public health order happening there. The other part of this is that it's now a little bit easier for students to get that exemption. So before the school district's mandate required a note from a health care provider, but the county's board of health now says that parents can sign their own form exempting their kid from wearing a mask on the grounds that it impacts their mental health. Now at this time, the state health department says there's actually no evidence that masks affect kids mental health. In fact, a pediatrician nine you spoke to says the biggest mental health crisis for students was the isolation that they faced before by not being in school last year. The most important thing that we advocated for all last year was to get kids back in school and now we're doing it and we want to keep them there. There's lots of data in the past month or two that's come out to show that school districts that are masking are having less infection, less spread, less closures, less quarantine. And we do have to note that Doug Coe's public health order goes against the recommendations of the state, the CDC, and even the American Academy of Pediatrics. And doctors continue to say that masks are still that best tool to keep kids inside the classroom. And again, that is what they care most about because they said the isolation was what really hurt their mental health.